Hello everyone. Uh, this is just a quick spotlight on Psychopedalum. This is my Psychopedalum Debbie the Mellow Honolulu Baby. Uh, it is an awarded plant. It has a AM award of merit from AOS American Orchid Society. And this plant I had since March. Uh, when I first got it, it has one bud spike and then after it bloomed, I repotted it because it's getting tight on the pot but the roots are still good and it's not going around the pot and uh, new growth are forming so it actually gave me two new growth this one here which has two two bud spike and this one here let's see. that's the other new growth so hopefully this one after the other one will also bloom for me because it takes a lot of energy from the plant to blo uh, to put out a lot of blooms but this one I'm glad it has it's in already in a medium bark which I'm glad because my first one that really uh, didn't do well at first was in a s sphagnum moss but um, but I didn't really uh, disturb the roots when I potted it I just uh, teased the root the outside root so it will spread and just put it in a bigger pot so that the roots will spread out and um, and it's less uh, it doesn't uh, set back the plants when you do that especially when the plant the roots are okay so after that I put a uh, I put actually slow release in the media just a little bit of it not a lot and then uh, that way when uh, it get rained down it also gets fertilized and then every watering I use a uh, weak liquid fertilizer very s not a lot of the because I use it every watering so I use the weak uh, formula of it so that's how I water them but I water it um, almost every day and of course I check if the media is still dry uh, wet then I don't water especially when it rained so yeah and because it's bark it easily dries up uh, compared to the moss and so this one here has gave me it gave me two bloom spike since uh, when i had it march of this year that new growth gave me two spike bloom spike so all the buds now are open that's why i'm doing this video and it's a very fragrant and this is the back of the plant the petals but in each spike it has four blooms so yeah this one one two three four and this one also has one two three four so yeah so with my first psychopedalum um i was so worried that every time it gets uh, water in the leaves that it will turn black but this one i'm not worried anymore um i found out you know this like this one these are natural i mean with the old leaves they will get that and then um yeah but it didn't spread it doesn't uh all of it didn't spread the blackness so yeah so i'm not worried about that anymore um i heard videos i saw videos from long time that um you cannot wet it because it will turn the leaves will turn black and the leaves i mean you cannot keep wet keep the leaves wet because it's gonna turn black now nah, i'm not worried anymore about that if they did okay you know it got watered and the leaves get wet or even rain gets to it because it's outside and they're okay this one right here are markings of the hail i had a hail storm 
that I did not uh, anticipate it and I was shocked how what the damages had uh, on my plant but they're okay they're recovering this one didn't have that much damage because it's under a small tree it gets uh, morning sun but not direct sun so yeah and then it's you know the cool breeze is blowing just like here now so yeah they like it like that so yeah I thought I'm gonna uh, share with you uh, what's going on with this um, with my cycle petalum it finally bloomed and I think there's other petals that broke off because we had one day one time a heavy storm also and I was at work and yeah I think the wind is strong that time and uh, you know it didn't tilt the pot because it's heavy but the 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 petals the leaves yeah it swayed in the wind of course so but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and um, if you have any questions just feel free to ask in the comments down below and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video hope you have a nice day bye